Hey everyone, welcome to the Flat Thunder channel. The magic UPS man came and delivered a present today. Let's open her up and see what it is. It says, open this end. Look at that. Huh. Tool Man brand. I like the red lettering, not that it's a big deal, but help me find the box. It's on wheels. Down here, little plastic guys. Let's see what's inside. Came with a pair of gloves. A pair of safety glasses. A bag of goodies. Break stuff. And the hardest part of opening this is a plastic bag, but something. All right, we have an electric jackhammer. like it's relatively good weight to it relatively heavy that case is nice I like that ah here we go here's a big chisel it's pretty nice go this is the pointy chisel we're gonna to try to use this to break up some of that foundation out back it isn't a jackhammer for the front of the bobcat but it might be a lot better than a sledgehammer I don't know Let's see it's in our bag of goodies A little oil can, a wrench for the oil plug, a couple hex keys, not sure what those are for, and a spare set of brushes. So that's a nice little feature. I didn't read the directions, but I know this guy right here is the oil sight gauge and the special wrench they give you. Opens that guy up. Need to fill that with oil. Oh, and I already broke the box. I think I just snapped it back on. So I'm actually going to take time and read the directions from the reviews online and the information I read. It calls for a 40 weight oil. We're just going to use some of our. Uh, Ford diesel oil that we have. It's an adjustable handle that needs tightened up. We're going to get her filled with oil, tighten the handle up. Step one, dump water. Stepped over my water jug. We're going to fill her up with uh, 1540. That's the oil that I have. That's 40 weight grade. Little too much. That'd be alright. It'll leak out. Just 
just looking inside the chamber just has a wick I think it gravity feeds level through the sight gauge it tells you to check it when it's vertical or you just filter up as much as it would take supposedly it'll last several days before it all leaks out with three to four hours of use I don't know if I buy that so this is the bit we're gonna use to try to chip up the old foundation the pointy one chisel tip has a hex body um, it doesn't say it in the instructions, or at least I didn't read it. Anything about greasing this. But I'm going to put a little light film of grease on this. So you can see in the end, it has a shaft that has a flat on it. You insert the bit with the flat side towards this pin, and then you pull the pin out and rotate it, and that locks it in place. There we go. More power, maybe, better than a sledgehammer? We'll have to find out. So they give you those hex keys, but you still need to get a 13 millimeter wrench to tighten up the pivoting handle. Not overly excited about that, but probably won't move it very often. Well, I'm kind of surprised by that. I guess I should have read the directions. It doesn't appear that you can tighten this up. I guess it just kind of pivots to whatever angle you want it to be at. I'd kind of prefer it would lock in a place. And yeah, we'll see how it does. That's kind of nice. It's got a uh, I don't know if you can see that. It has a pin in the middle, so you pull the trigger on, and then you push that pin and it locks it on so you don't have to constantly hold the uh, trigger. That's kind of a nice feature. All right, let's go outside and give her a go, see what happens. Hey everyone, welcome to the Flat Thunder Channel. We're gonna try out our new toy and see if this electric jackhammer can break up any of this foundation this electric jackhammer draws a lot of amperage 14 amps is what it's rated at unfortunately my 12 gauge extension cord isn't long enough to reach this area so we're going to po supply power to this with my power chief generator don't forget your hearing protection your safety glasses your gloves and definitely your hard hat if you're watching this in the bathroom at work make sure you turn the volume down it's about to get loud
here's the progress we made yesterday. In this section we sawed vertically and then used the jackhammer. This section from here to about here was just the jackhammer alone and this section from here to there was sawed on the bottom and the sides and then used the, used the jackhammer to chip it away. Actually it looks like it has, uh, now that I look closer, two horizontal sections of rebar in this section. This worked really good. Uh, to start today we're just going to try using the jackhammer on this section here. Just to back up a little bit, this was the first uh, attack on this foundation. I used just the sledgehammer and that took a lot of work to chip that away like that. Basically just busted off a couple pieces down to the rebar. This is the second attempt. I sawed, it's about three foot, three to four foot section. Sawed the sides both ends and then across the bottom about three quarters of the way through because my saw wouldn't make it all the way through and then sledgehammered it out that worked pretty good but that was a ton of sledgehammering a lot of work again we're going to try this section here and we're going to try to break this away with just the sledgehammer or the uh, jackhammer so we don't have to saw the bottom sawing the bottom is really hard and time consuming <laughs> So this section's pretty well, I mean, it's not down to size yet, there's a little ledge on the back side of it, but a good majority of it's broken out. As you can see, we still got a little more depth we need to go down to. Found that on the jackhammer, if you make a line, so start here, move over, move over, move over. You can create a fracture line and bigger pieces fall off instead of going out a corner and chipping your way along. So we're going to try to keep doing that same process. I also found if you target the piece of the rebar and just uh, follow that. We have a big section up here. Complete section of rebar that we're able to chip out. So if you put the breaker right against the rebar and just walk your way down it knocks it loose of the uh, concrete got my 12 gauge extension cord I want to use this that way we don't have to be on top of the generator every time we uh, chisel and also so we have a little bit more freedom than uh, you know a couple feet 
little tip I'm using extension cords if you the end of this plug's bad that worker in there need to replace that if you tie it in a knot and then it's more likely to stay together when you're jerking on it not supposed to jerk on extension cords but let's face it we all do it
I made a lot of progress working on the foundation this weekend. We still have a little bit of cleanup left to do and we still have to complete the corner on the other side of that uh, stone pile. Used a couple different techniques. I think uh, we found the technique that works best for the jackhammer. Some things that I didn't like, some things maybe to watch out for. First, this handle. In the beginning of the video, I tried to tighten it up. It uh, didn't tighten up, so it beat up the housing of the jackhammer pretty good. I think in the future, I'll make a uh, shim or put a, another piece of steel or a piece of rubber in between the clamp and the housing so it doesn't uh, grind on the housing so much. Put a lot of chips and scratches and just rubbed it a little raw. The handle is also deformed quite a bit. Could be a little bit stronger, but it still does the job. I mean, it still holds it. And then also, I just noticed that on the bottom of the jackhammer, this end cap, we lost two of the socket head cap screws while we were hammering. So you're gonna wanna make sure these are all tight when you first get it. We actually have one over here that's loose and ready to fall out. So we'll have to tighten all those before we use it again. But all in all, give you a shot of the name plate. All in all, this unit worked great. It sped up the process and helped keep us from having to sledgehammer the whole foundation. And I also have a electric jackhammer that I can use anytime I need one now and it was actually less than the price of renting a unit so the tool man electric jackhammer from Amazon $135 delivered to my door definitely a thumbs up time saver highly recommend it thanks for watching everybody if you like this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up Leave your questions and comments in the section below, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button.